Jai Hind Vande Matram, this is Konal Mehta from Make Me Scientific and I am going to put an end to this problem. I know that many students who are getting confused in electromagnetism chapter that what could be the direction of current if the motion of the magnet comes into the picture. So, let us not waste any time and go to the video straight away. So, I have drawn four rectangles over here and these two are the bar magnets. So, the north pole south pole north pole and the south pole of the magnets now here i need to actually explain you how the winding of the wire takes place so like this if you choose to fit the wire from here going over the top then something like this the curved s has to be drawn in this way and then you do understand the fact that the final wiring would be coming from behind this particular rod. This is the galvanometer whose pointer is exactly at the middle and this wire is coming from the back side of this rectangular portion. So, I may also show it by a dotted line. Here it goes from the top, from there it comes from the behind. All right. Now, you are bringing the north pole of this bar magnet towards this coil. So, what is going to happen is as per the Lenz law, here north pole will be created here the south pole will be created because that portion or that pole of the magnet will be created which will oppose the motion of this magnet so north coming in this direction so this north would be repelling so it would oppose the motion in this direction now use right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule and then thumb should be pointing the north of this this particular coil so, now we know that here the north is formed. So, the north should be pointing the thumb. Now, curl the fingers in this way. You can't curl the finger backwards. So, curling the finger like this, that means the current is actually overflowing out and going downwards. So, current going downwards like this. It is just like the water flowing out of the dam. So, the water is, these are the walls and the water is coming over and falling down. In the same way, the current is just like water and falling down. So, falling current down is shown by this way. So, it would again come down like this. That means the pointer is going to deflect in this direction. Now, the current is going to climb up from here. In the same way, if this magnet is moved backwards, So, to oppose the direction of the motion, here the south pole will be created and the north pole would be created as per the Lenz law. So, as per the right hand thumb rule, the thumb should be pointing the north direction like this. Now, fingers can't be curling in the backward direction. So, the water is going to flow out of the dam in that direction. The fingers curling in this direction, the current going over first and then coming out. So, current going over like this at the top. So, it would definitely come out from here, giving the deflection in this direction. And finally, the current would climb up. All right. Now, in part B, I am going to start winding the wire from behind, right? So, something like this it goes from behind and then like this. And it comes out like this. Okay. Again, the two ends of the galvanometer are connected here with these two ends. This is the north pole, this is the south pole of the bar magnet, and I am going to move this north pole of the bar magnet towards the coil. So, here the north pole should be created, here the south pole should be created as per the Lenz law. Now, applying the right hand thumb rule. The thumb must always be pointing towards the north pole and then I am going to curl the fingers like this. So, just imagine the water flowing out of the vessel. The water is actually behind the walls of the vessel. It is overflowing out. So, it would fall down like this one, like this one. So, since the water from the vessel would be falling down from behind like this. So, the direction of the current would be coming out like this one and you will see the deflection in this direction. 
like this. Similarly, again over here, now the north pole of the bar magnet is going far away in this direction with respect to the coil. So, what is going to happen is here south pole will be created, here north pole would be created as per the Lenz law, then and only then the motion of the bar magnet would be opposed. Now, right and thumb rule, thumb pointing towards the north, the water flowing out of the vessel. Now, the water is in this side of the vessel and it is flowing on that side, flowing out. So, the water rising up and flowing out like this, like this one. Finally, it would come out from here and the deflection would be in this direction. Now, let us compare both the diagrams simultaneously. Here, the winding was from behind. Here, it was from the top, this side. And you can very well see that the North Pole was coming towards the bar magnet. So, you could clearly see that the direction of current is opposite in both the cases. Similarly, over here also. Now, I think that after this clear explanation, there should be no doubts left. But if there are still any other doubts, you may definitely comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.